Hi, if you have a mask or a path, you can convert it into a motion path so that something will move along it. Not forgetting that if you have something like a logo with an alpha background, you can always go up into layer, auto trace, and it will create mask or masks for you. In this case, what we're going to do is have the yellow shape move along the outside of the blue shape. The first thing to be aware of is that the anchor point of the layer needs to be at the point where you want to join with the path. So using the pan behind tool, select it, select your anchor point and move it to the place where you want the objects to meet. Then select your path. Now you need to decide where you want the shape to join. By default, it will always go to the first vertex, which as you can see here, has got a little circle around it. If you want to change it to another position, what you need to do is, using your selection tool, select the vertex, right click, go to mask and shape path, and set first vertex. And you'll notice now that that has got the outline around it and the yellow shape will start there. Twirling open your pathed layer, masks, mask one, mask path, select that and command control C to copy it. Then twirl open your other layer yellow in this case, transform, make a keyframe for position and command control V and it will jump to the first vertex and it will move along the path in the direction that you've created it. If you want to orient it along the path, go up to layer, transform, auto orient, Orient along path, OK. Then you can change the rotation so that it's sitting the way you want it to sit. And it will automatically orient along the path. If you want to lengthen or shorten, select all the position keyframes and you can move them as a group or holding down Alt or option on Mac, you can stretch them out. Or same thing by selecting the first keyframe, holding down Alt option, you can squash them back up again. If you're using a hand-drawn shape layer, toggle it open, Contents, Shape 1, and it's important that you toggle Open Path 1 and select the path, and that's the one you want to copy. Just be aware that this only works if you've made your path using the Pen tool in a shape layer, not if you've used one of the preset shapes in this menu here. Well, I hope that helps. Until next time, see you then.